Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to bring you is an Exeter City versus Bradford City vlog now just before we get into today's video if you could drop a like on it let's try and go for 70 likes as always on the match day vlogs if you could subscribe as well that would be massively appreciate I'm trying to hit 5,000 subscribers before the end of the season so if you could subscribe that would be absolutely class but today it is Exeter City away it's going to be a very very difficult game today so 1 o'clock kickoff and it's about half past 12 now I've already seen the team we've got so many key players missing I've literally just got out of bed. I've got my lucky shirt on as well. I wore this shirt for the past two games. We picked up six points from them last couple of games. We're in decent form at the moment. We are sitting at nine points off the playoffs going into this game. If we can win today, it'd be massive, but we are missing a hell of a lot of players. We'll talk about that in a minute. But yeah, today is extra away. My score prediction was 1 1. I can either now see it being like 4 0 either way. I'm not really too sure this game could literally go either way, but I'm going to stick with my 1 1. I'm going to stick with Joe Randall to score for extra. And obviously, if you've seen the team news, Danny. Danny Rose in the team, so I don't think Danny Rose is going to score, obviously. I think I'm going to go with Charles Vernon to score for the Bantam today, but make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and let's get on with the team news. Here we have it then. This is the team for today's game away at Exeter City. Three changes from the game last week at Barrow. Jordan Stevens comes in for his first de debut start along with Charles Vernon and Ollie Crankshaw. No Danny Rowe, no Gareth Evans, no Billy Clark, and also no Andy Cook today for the Bantams. Harry Pritchard is back on the bench and uh, first uh, squad appearance for Matthew Folds as well. It's it's an interesting team. There's a lot of wingers in that team. Hopefully we don't play a long ball up to, name spelt wrong, Charles Vernon. Um, oh yeah, it looks like we're going to be trying to play it on the counter today though. Hopefully we can pick up another three points, but it's going to be a very, very difficult ask. I've seen extra, we've got a few players missing. Joe Randall's also on the bench as well, so that's big, big news for us that he's not starting. But it's going to be an absolute massive game today. If we can pick up three points, then I think we can go on and beat anyone in this division. Obviously, last time we played, we drew 2-2. Two -two, but let's waste no further time and get on with today's match. This league two encounter. Here we have it then, Exeter City get us underway for this one o'clock kickoff. Bradford looking to make it nine undefeated. Something that's very noticeable from the opening 30 seconds or so is the pitch is absolutely terrible. I think there's more mud than there is grass on the pitch. It looks absolutely awful out there. It's definitely not going to be a, a one for the pretty eye today, but yeah, it's, it's going to be a very, very tough game. Burnham goes past one, plays it out wide here to Callum Cook. Callum Cook on the ball. Does a step over. Shoots, he's blocked. Vernon, yes! Get in there! Counter attack FC. Charles Vernon on his debut. 17 minutes in. Completely undeserved. Exeter have been all over us from minute one. And we've hit him on the counter attack. Fantastic goal, that. It's a bit lucky in the end. But Callum Cook, will he, will he get given that assist? He did very well there. Good block from the Exeter defender, but he played it straight into Vernon, who hammers it into the roof of the net. Exeter City nil, Bradford City won. We've taken the lead. It's going to be hard to hold on to this, but it's a big goal, is that? And it's on Vernon's debut as well. It's a big goal, is that? But yeah, Exeter nil, Bradford won. Not a great start, but we're winning, so I'm not going to complain. Vernon's in on goal here. He's tried to dink the keeper, but it's good defending that by the Exeter defender. 23 minutes gone, still 1-0 to the Bantams. Good defending that by Exeter. Levi Sutton's done really well to win the ball back here. He leaves it off for of Vernon. Oh, it's a poor layoff though. That was a good opportunity for that. Great pressure from Sutton, Cl um, Cook and uh, Vernon. But nothing comes of it in the end. 41 minutes played, still 1-0 see. Corner ball for Exeter on the far side. It has been pretty much all Exeter, but as the commentator said there, it has been pretty much uh, all extra, but they've yet, uh, yet to register a shot on target. They've switched corner taker, they've gone for a left footed in swinger this time. It's a good ball in towards the back post. And Sweeney heads it into the back of the net. Pardo O'Connor is furious with them. It has been all extra, it's very deserved. It's very deserved. We've got to go again now, just before our time is gutting as well. And to come from a corner of all places, it's absolutely disappointing. Who's managed it? I think it's co it's cousin Dawson again. It's cousin Dawson again. I cannot wait for Hassan to be back fit. I think cousin Dawson again. Don't know. Don't really know why cousin Dawson's on their you know massive centre half, but. Oh, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. We've conceded. It's disappointing from a corner as well. That's just, oh, it's absolutely gutting. But yeah, 1-1. One, one. It, it actually deserved to be probably in front, but to come from a corner, it's absolutely gutting. 
Ollie Crankshaw on the left hand side, he's gone past one, he's gone past two, he's gone past the third. Go on Ollie lad, plays a good ball into Vernon. Ah, it's good inception though from Exeter. Oh my oh. god, what are they doing at the back? He's running to keeper, go on! Yes! Crankshaw on debut now! Absolutely awful defending from Exeter. The two debutants. Ollie Crankshaw's got in the act now, just before half time. We're back in front. Oh, thank god. Ollie Crankshaw, the pressing this game from us has been absolutely fantastic. Oh my god, Ollie Crankshaw, that is lovely. He did so well on the left hand side. I don't know what the Exeter defender's doing, <laughs> but it's absolutely tragic. And Ollie Crankshaw on his debut. And we're back in front again. Ollie Crankshaw, thank the Lord, man. Literally just after Exeter equalised. And we're back in front again. Just before half time as well. Let's go. Half time here at St James's Park. He's Exeter City 1, Bradford City 2. Exeter have definitely had a lot of chances in this game. Paddy O'Connor's just given their free a bit of stick there. And so Anthony O'Connor's also gone over there and given him some as well. But yeah, half time 2 1. It was a good goal for us to get us um, underway. You know, against the runner play, you could say Charles Vernon making it 1 0. Bit disappointing to concede in the 42nd minute to Sweeney. It's a good cross in. Finn Cousin Dawson just gets beaten in the air. I have no idea why Finn Cousin Dawson is marking there. You know, one of. Biggest aerial threats. I understand that he's, um, you know, we don't have that much height in the squad today, but even still, I don't really know why he's marking him. I would have thought maybe Antonio Collar would have marked him. Um, but it is what it is. You know, we ended up going up the other end three minutes later. Ollie Crankshaw did really well to keep the press up. Our press in this game has been absolutely fantastic. Um, their defender leaves the ball for the goalkeeper, tries to play it fancy, and he just, you know, Crankshaw just gets there before the keeper, rounds him, and finishes at a pretty tight angle to make it 2 1. We need to up our game definitely in the second half. Yeah, let's get on with the second half. Here we have it then, we are underway for the second half, Callum Cook I think that one getting us underway, hopefully we can hold out and pick up another three points, if we pick up three points here that will be a massive result. We are 15 or so minutes into this second half, it has been pretty much all extra, I'm not going to lie once again, we need to try and get another goal on the counter, maybe make some subs, I'm not really too sure what we can do, I would say we need a bit more pace up front but we've got a hell of a lot of pace up front, it's a good play this by Exeter and 30s on the attack here. Goes out wide onto the right hand side to Caprice. Ball comes in, but it's blocked once again. We've been defending pretty well, to be fair, but actually, I've got some real quality in that slide, and it only takes one moment, one lack of concentration, and I can pull this game level again. But yeah, 15 minutes gone into the second half. Still 2 1 Bradford. Exeter are coming forward once more on the left hand side. Back with the Exeter centre half. It has been pretty much all Exeter so far in the second half. I come down the left hand side, he looks to be offside. Lionel says no, ball into the box. What is that? What is the defending? You can't be leaving Ryan Bowman unmarked in the bloody six yard area. Terrible defending again. Just as I was literally saying, we've been defending solidly. One, like We switch off for one second, I literally called it. We switch off for one second and Exeter are back level. Terrible defending once again. I think Cousin Dawson gets beaten way too easily on that side. Anthony O'Connor's marking absolutely no one, and Bowman's got a free header from six yards out. He's never going to miss from there. Extra back level once again. Awful defending once again. I don't understand why we defend so well and then we just switch off for one second and extra score. You can't switch off against teams like this because they will punish you, and they have done twice. 2 2. Double change for the Bantams. Niall Canavan is coming on for Finkels and Dawson. Truman and Tellers have finally realised that he's not not good enough, to be fair to you. And uh, Levi Sutton is also coming off for Harry Pritchard. So I assume Canavan will go at the back. Anthony O'Connor will go to right back. Another change here for the Bantams. It's going to be Jordan Stevens coming off. who once again not really done anything in a City show. And Clayton Donaldson will be coming on. I assume that means Vernon's going to go out on the wing and the big Don's going to go up front. 17 minutes or so left to go. We've got a bit more height up uh, up on the pitch now, you know, he should be able to hold us out and uh, get us a bit more yardage up the pitch. And you know, Connor with a throw in, Donaldson flicks it on, but it's straight to Exeter player, who plays it over the top here, and Bowman's in here, chips it over the keeper. That's not, no, that's no penalty if he's already taken the shot on. This referee is dreadful. And he's booked home, but no, learn the rules. It's not a penalty if he's already taken a shot on. He's after his shot, so it's not a pen. This referee has been so biased. That's a booking for Hornby, but when their player grabs um, Crankshaw by the throat and flows him to the floor, it's not a booking. 
For God's sake, man. Oh, we've been dreadful this second half. We've been absolutely dreadful. Here goes our unbeaten streak. Here we go then. Let's see if Exeter can score this. Oh, he needs to make himself a hero here. After giving away the penalty, can he save it? No, he can't. Down the middle, Hornby's dived out of the way. Oh, we're behind. We're behind. We've been awful in this second half. We've been absolutely terrible. It looks like our unbeaten streak is going to be coming to an end. We've been awful this second half. We've offered absolutely nothing. We've offered absolutely nothing. Extra take the lead. They fully deserve. Extra really, really do deserve to win this game. We've been awful. Absolutely awful. An extra in front. It's, a, it's an awful penalty. Hornby should really save it, but it is what it is. I've uh, I've just watched a replay of the penalty. I'm not really too sure if it is one. It's kind of like a 50-50. I thought the rule was if you're taking a shot on, then even if it does get wiped out afterwards, then it's not a penalty. But I have seen them given before, so maybe that was just a little bit biased from me. But the referee has been awful in this game. Maybe I was just being biased for the penalty, but seven minutes to go. We don't like we're offering anything. Double substitution for the Bantams. Kean Scales and Ruman Burrell are going to be coming on. The pitch for the Bantams. Burrell coming on first for number 15, Charles Vernon. He was really good in the first half, but the second half, I don't think he's really touched the ball. But we've just been playing hoofball. He's been really, really poor in his first half. Really poor. Kean Scales also be going to be coming on. I'm going to assume for Elliot Watt. It's not. It's for Ollie Crankshaw. Oh, no, I don't like that. Crankshaw's probably been man of the match and we're taking him off for a defensive midfielder. It doesn't really make sense, that substitution for me. We'll probably put Pritchard out on the wing. We've taken off all of our energy. We've literally, like, we're, we've got no energy on that pitch now. But, oh, five minutes to go. Still three to Exeter. Why is Donaldson taking the throwing? I don't care how long of a throw he's got. He's done it short as well. Oh, they've given the ball away. What are you doing? Oh, as much as I love Donaldson, what is he doing? Why is Donaldson on the long throws? That's a very long throw, to be fair. That that makes sense. Go on. Oh, and that's full time. Full time. I, ex I expected it. I expected it. Ever since we kicked off in that second half, we were nowhere near good enough. We, you know, Both of our goals were a bit lucky. The first one were actually pretty decent. The second one was very lucky. We've gifted Exeter the win today, though. First goal is um, for Exeter. It's poor defending from Finkels and Dawson. He needs to win that in the air. Second one, Bowman's completely unmarked from seven yards out. Antonio O'Connor's nowhere to be seen. And the third one, I don't know what Hornby's doing. He's no need to take him out. And it's, a, it's a poor penalty. Hornby should save it. Um, he goes down the middle and obviously that makes it 3-2 we, we were not up to standard today but um, in no way am I Truman or and Sellers out you know they were being fantastic you know 8 games undefeated it was always going to come to an end at some point I did think we kind of hit the panic button hopefully um, Rowan the likes of them are available for Tuesday positives Vernon and Crankshaw obviously scoring on their debut Crankshaw will look uh, fantastic in today's game it's a shame we couldn't pick up another 3 points but we've got to go again on Tuesday so plenty of points left to play for hopefully the teams around us don't um, pick up too many points we were 9 points off the playoffs going into this game obviously we've gained no points today so we'll have to see um, if we can bounce back on Tuesday hopefully we can you know I'm still confident about the season you know playoffs is still definitely not out of our sight disappointing today but you know we've got to go, go again on Tuesday let's just not make this um, a, a common theme you know it's disappointing but it is what it is at the end of the day we had a lot of players injured and we, you know we've done well to come to this very very strong exercise side so good luck to them for the rest of the season you know they did definitely deserve uh, to get the win today they were the much better side but yeah make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you could hit 70 likes on today's video that'd be massively appreciated subscribe as well if you are new i am trying to hit 5,000 subscribers before the end of the football season full time at st james's park though exeter city three bradford city two i'll see you all in the next video peace